On this week's Vaticano, the Catholic Church recognizes two new saints. Pope Francis celebrates the Jubilee for priests. And we follow the winning team of this year's soccer championship called the Clericus Cup. All this and more now on Vaticano. On Sunday, June the 5th, two new saints were elevated to the glory of the altars. One of them was the Polish priest Stanislas of Jesus and Mary Papczynski, founder of the Congregation of Marian Priests of the Immaculate Conception of the Virgin Mary. He's known for his work in favor of the poorest. Also, the Swedish religious sister, Mary Elizabeth Hesselblad, was declared a saint. She was raised Lutheran and converted to Catholicism when she was a teenager. She took the habit of the Brigitines, dedicating her life to restoring this order all over the world. To pay tribute to the new saints, thousands of faithful gathered in St. Peter's Square, participating in the rite of canonization that opened the liturgical celebration. The prefect of the Congregation of the Causes of Saints, Cardinal Angelo Amato, joined by the postulators of the respective causes, publicly asked Pope Francis for the canonization of the Blesseds. After reading a brief biography of both, Pope Francis pronounced the formula of canonization and received the relics of the new saints, Stanislas of Jesus and Mary Papczynski and Mary Elizabeth Hesselblad. During his homily, the Holy Father recalled the victory of Christ over pain and death. In the Passion of Christ, we find God's response to the desperate and at times indignant cry that the experience of pain and death invokes in us. He tells us that we cannot flee from the cross, but must remain at its foot as Our Lady did. In suffering with Jesus, she received the grace of hoping against all hope. This was the experience of Stanislaus of Jesus and Mary and Maria Elizabeth Hesselblad, who are today proclaimed saints. They remain deeply united to the Passion of Jesus and in them, the power of His resurrection was revealed. Also, Pope Francis proclaimed the greatness of the mercy of Jesus, who gave His life for us to free ourselves from death and give us eternal life. He takes our sins upon Himself, takes them away, and gives us back alive to Mother Church. All this happens in a special way during this holy year of mercy. The Church today offers us two of her children who are exemplary witnesses to this mystery of the Resurrection. Both can sing forever in the words of the psalmist, You have changed my mourning into dancing, O Lord. My God, I will thank you forever. Let us all join in saying, I will extol you, Lord, for you have raised me up. Before leaving, the Pope prayed the Angelus and took the opportunity to ask for prayers for a peaceful world where justice reigns.